Hello everyone, Kayla here, and this is What The Kink, a natural hair channel where I share my personal hair journey and tips and tricks and product reviews to help you with your own. Today we are getting into Curls, the Sea Moss Collection, because apparently Sea Moss is really trendy right now. There are about three lines out that all feature this prominently as an ingredient. So let's get into it. Up first is the Powerhouse Sea Moss Cleanser. And they say that it's natural detox and purifying shampoo that promotes scalp health and encourages production of sebum in the scalp by drawing out toxins and free radicals. These toxins would otherwise cause damage and buildup on the scalp, which prevents the growth of healthy hair. Um, the first ingredients of this are water, cocomitopropyl betaine, propaneol, polysorbate 80, and polyquaternium 10. You guys saw my reaction when I first put this on. This shampoo is extremely thick and it burst into uh, a lather, but it was very, like a, a thick lather, almost a conditioner-like lather. It's very interesting because this is a clear shampoo for it to be cutting up like it's doing. I also found it pretty easy to um, drag it down the length of my hair. Uh, and I, I thought I used a decent, decent amount of shampoo, but now that I'm looking at the bottle after this wash day, uh, yeah, I use like nothing. Now we are working with the uh, 92 Mineral Glow and Grow Conditioner, and they are saying that this is a strengthening moisture mask because apparently sea moss contains 92 out of the 110 minerals our skin, hair, and body needs. So it's a natural protein that naturally strengthens damaged, uh, breakage prone hair. The ingredients on this container is so, the list is so small guys. So I'll try to uh, squint and see it, but it's water, glycerin, uh, soybean oil, cedar alcohol, and behentrimonium methosulfate are the first five ingredients. Um, I will tell you that the texture of this, and you guys have already seen me, you know, on screen using it, it is so thick. Like it has a whipped look to it when it's in the container, but then when you actually stick your hand in there, it's quite thick. And so I found that it just wasn't reacting to water like I wanted it to. It was staying thick, like I was trying to add water like I normally do and it just wasn't gliding through the hair like I would like it to do. Now I will say that as far as detangling, it did its job. It did what it was supposed to do. It gave what it was supposed to have gave. Um, I, I was able to detangle my hair. It just wasn't like super crazy slippery. And while I was talking about the shampoo, I forgot to make a note about the scent. So all the products in this line smell exactly the same. They all smell like the avocado mousse from the green collection. Y'all remember the vegan green collection? I really liked the smell of the avocado mousse and literally every single product smells exactly like it. So um, as you guys can see here, I'm finishing up my detangling with my brush. I'm still able to get the brush through. It's just not as slippery as I would like. So after all of that, it is time to style. And so I start off by rinsing my conditioner out of my hair. And then I'm gonna be going in with the Sea Slip Mineral Infused Curl Slime. I actually find it very interesting and cute that they called it slime. I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> it gives the aqu aquatic feel that they were going for. Um, anyhow, guys, they are saying here for this one that silky shine boosting vitamin infused curl jelly that revives dull and dry hair, defines and moisturizes curls with a medium hold. So this is not already upfront. It's not going to give as much hold as the stylers that I typically use in my hair. Um, and the ingredients that they have on here, it's a very short ingredients list for the curl slime. There's not that much in here. So I am gonna go ahead and just do the whole ingredients list. And then I wanna make a point about the directions. So it says water, glycerin, polyquaternium 10, aloe vera leaf juice, polysorbate 20, and then it has some extracts. So that's sea moss extract, algae extract, 
um, the red algae extract, then you got panthenol, fragrance, and the phenyl ethanol, and then you have, this, this one's kind of small, capillyl glycol, all right? So the directions are very interesting. You guys see me applying the curl slime all over my hair and then breaking it into smaller subsections, like I would apply a botanical gel, even though this is definitely not botanical, because botanical gels tend to be sticky, and so I usually don't apply them in the, the tiny smet sections um, just to avoid some of the stickiness. But um, I'll get back onto what's happening here as I apply the product. But it says to apply sea slip mineral infused curl slime to wet, freshly cleanse hair to uh, create shiny, frizz free, defines curls, allow to air dry. And then in all caps, it says, do not use this with any other stylers, creams, or leave-ins so that you don't get flakes. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now that as I was applying it, I was actually quite surprised. It was actually doing something and defining my hair. Um, it definitely kind of had more of a foam texture as I was rubbing it together between my hands and putting it on my hair. Uh, and then at the very end here, I decided to do a little bit more on the ends just because my brain kept saying, oh my God, this is a foam. This is not gonna do anything. This is a foam. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so let's talk about the actual results. I felt like my hair did get definition, as you can see here. You know, it did something. I'm, I'm not mad at this at all. Um, now my hair looks pretty good the day that I did it, but then it was a stormy day. It was a horrible, rainy, stormy day. So you know where this is going. Boom, my hair puffed up. And so this is the second day. I'm not mad at it, y'all. It is pretty, it's still got definition. Ignore the fact that I need a haircut, but it did get de decent definition. It did do the medium hole that is promising, but I will say that my hair is sticky and kind of heavy and lazy. So, I am not mad at it. I am not mad at it at all. I think that if I were to live somewhere where it wasn't humid all the time, where I was not fighting, with the weather, I think that this would have fared better. Uh, so, you know, I don't think this is a bad product. I just don't think that I am dealing with the correct weather <laughs> to be able to get away with this. Um, and perhaps maybe even using a secondary product with it to try to battle the humidity would really have popped this thing off to the next level. As far as the other products prior to the Curl Slime, um, the shampoo was nice and thick, so I think that it is one that I would definitely happily use the rest of, no problem. It was a very nice experience overall. Uh, the conditioner was not my favorite. Uh, I know that a lot of people really like the thickness, so it is going to be popular with a lot of people. People are going to absolutely love it. Uh, but it just wasn't for me. I prefer a little bit more slip. Um, I prefer it to have a little bit more of a reaction to water. So it just wasn't my preferred conditioner. Now this is not my first time doing a one brand wash day with Curls products. So I'm gonna put one here and then check out this more recent Ajua Beauty one brand wash day. Subscribe, I post videos every week and I'll talk to you in the next one.